Unboxing Instruments. My name is Nicolo Seligman. Today, we're unboxing the Scheitholt. Und what a Scheit to behold! Scheitholz are traditional bowed drone zithers. This one is made by my father-in-law, luthier and blacksmith Ken Coons. The Scheitholz unbroken tradition can be traced back to 1300s Germany. Throughout the 16 and 1700s, Germans settled on lands of the indigenous Susquehannock and Lenape in what's now called Pennsylvania. The descendants of these German settlers are today known as Pennsylvania Dutch, which includes Amish, Mennonite, and other communities. As waves of German settlers followed the wagon trails south through the Appalachian Mountains, their Scheitholt tradition came with them. Eventually, Scheitholt spread beyond German-speaking communities and became common throughout Appalachia, evolving into what we now call the Appalachian dulcimer, mountain dulcimer, or lap dulcimer. The Scheitholt is typically held horizontally, whether on a lap or a resonating table, and bowed forward-backward rather than side-to-side. This position is unique in that it requires the player to hold the bow at the balance point, rather than at the end called the frog. There are three left-hand techniques, all with their own strengths and weaknesses. Piano style, for better or worse, allows you to play leaps without sliding. Sliding thumb gives you lots of control and the sliding sound, which I rather like. And using a bone, wood, or feather noter gives you the sliding sound and also sounds very focused and clear. This Scheitholt has diatonic metal frets that only pass under the melody string. This allows the player to slide up and down without including unwanted notes in between. It also locks the Scheitholt into a specific musical mode, of which major and minor are just two examples. If I want to change modes, I have to change tuning, and sometimes I even have to take the strings off and put them back on in a new order. Here it's in the tuning that gives us the warm and yearning Lydian mode. string up a bit from A to B flat, and it gives us the dark and dramatic Phrygian mode. I'll send you off with a good German Lutheran tune called Aus Tiefer Not, based on text by Martin Luther himself that may have played a role in early Pennsylvania Dutch worship.
Follow, like, and subscribe for more episodes of Unboxing Instruments, and check out my Patreon to become a patron. You'll get access to patrons-only instrument nerd content, live Q&A opportunities, and so much more. Thank you.